Hello, and hello. Thank you so much for joining me today. How y'all doing? What am I reacting to today? I'm reacting to the top 10 things to do in Dusseldorf. Why? Because I, I like the name. Dusseldorf. Uh, 2024. Even though this video was uploaded in 2023. This dude's from the future. Trip Extreme. <laughs> Link down below. Check them out. Let's do it. The attractive city of Dusseldorf in Germany is hot. <laughs> I don't know why that was kind of funny. He said it. it was an attractive city, which it is. It's a beautiful city. My God. The attractive city of Dusseldorf. But then he shows like a big smokestack. In Germany is highly regarded as one of the country's leading university towns and is wow. an important center for art and fashion. Hmm, okay, I didn't know it was a university town. What university is in Dusseldorf? The University of Dusseldorf? University of Dusseldorf. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Heinrich Hein University Dusseldorf. This old electoral capital is also a city of wide streets lined by elegant shops with a ring of parks and gardens wow. encircling its vibrant downtown area. As an important cultural center, Gorgeous. Dusseldorf has dozens of museums and in excess of 100 art galleries. The latter encompass everything. Of course it's got museums. In fact, today I was going to react to the top weirdest museums in Germany, which I'll probably just do that tomorrow or something, but it's unbelievable the amount of museums. You guys love museums and so do I. Galleries. The latter encompass everything from internationally renowned facilities, such as the impressive art collection North Rhine-Westphalia, to the smaller installations found in the city's trendy Koenigsalli area. These tourist attractions, along with the city's location on the Rhine, Koenigsalli area. I, I was just going back because I could see, you know, uh, carts, I don't know what you call them, on this Ferris area. Field. These tu tourist attractions, along... But then here there weren't any and I was confused. I guess they're just down for maintenance. With something. the city's location on the Rhine, its numerous wide squares and its wonderful riverside walkways make it a particularly pleasant place to spend time. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated attractions and things All to right. do in Dusseldorf. Whoa, well, uh, a garden of clocks. Dorf. And just wait till you see what's at number three. That statue was so sick. Oh my God. Wow. That's so cool. Number three that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of. So make sure you watch till the end. Oh my god, what a bridge. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides. And make sure you hit the notification Definitely bell. Definitely go join them. So that you know when we publish a new video. So now let's cut. I wonder what currency that is. 299. <laughs> to the chase. At number 10, good neighbors. Visit Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth. Incorporated into the city in 1929, Dusseldorf Kaiserswerth is one of the city's oldest and polshest neighborhoods and is mm -hmm. a wonderful place to explore baroque buildings. The statues are so cool in Germany. And the picture perfect location on the Rhine. Be sure to allow plenty of time to wander its pleasant cobbled streets, popular among tourists for its traditional German shops selling food items and crafts. There are also a number of good art galleries here interesting little playground oh is it like a pirate ship we have those over here in america like little ship playgrounds art Let's galleries here see. including the kaiserswerth art archive plus pleasant cafes and restaurants tracing its roots back to the 13th century is the church of saint Suthbertus, noted for its beautiful reliquary of the saint even older is the kaiserpfalz the imperial stronghold of emperor frederick the wow. also known as barbarossa Although mostly ruins, the scale of the site still impresses with walls more than four meters thick. The ruins also serve as a great yeah. vantage point for excellent views over the Rhine. Hmm. At nine. So is that just a public thing that you can just go, go up to, walk around it? It's kind of interesting. There's just not that much like historic old, uh, you know, buildings and castles and stuff like that here in America that you can. I mean, the country is just not that old. Take in a performance at Tonhalle Dusseldorf. Those who enjoy high culture should be sure to visit Dusseldorf's Enrenhof district. Here you'll find the high domed culture. Tonhalle, a spectacular concert hall constructed in 1926 oh. as home for the city's orchestra, Dusseldorfer Symphonica. 
The building is still the home for this world-class orchestra and regular performances are held throughout the year. It's also used regularly as a venue for touring pop and rock artists. At eight, visit the Museum of Art. The Museum of Art. The Museum of Art. The least weird museum in all of Germany. It displays artwork dating from the 3rd century BC right up to the present day. Works include fine art, sculptures and drawings, in addition to more than 70,000 items of graphic art, photos and applied art. Highlights are a collection of glass by Helmut Hendrik and rare Italian Baroque works. The modern collection features Caravaggio, whose work laid the foundations of modern art and works by Dali, Warhol and members of the Dusseldorf School of Painting and Expression. Andy Warhol. The museum also offers theatrical performances and classical concerts and guided tours are available. Also of interest to art lovers is Kunsthalle Dusseldorf, a collection of local artists who regularly host displays of members' work in a unique underground gallery called mm. Art in the Tunnel. And now, at seven, view the North Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection. The North a lot of art in Dusseldorf. Rhine-Westphalia Art Collection is spread across three distinct locations in Dusseldorf. The largest collection, K20, a disco ball? is located in Grabeplatz, an ultra-modern building with a facade of polished black granite, which is itself a work of art. Look at that. It looks like Dragon Ball Z. This vast gallery houses new... Numerous work He's going super sane. works of modern art, including a notable collection of paintings by Paul Klee. K21 in the 19th century Standenhaus building includes a variety of installations focusing on modern painting and drawing, as well as sculpture and film, with works by Thomas Schutter, Reinhard Mutscher, and Thomas Hirschhorn. The third location, Schmeller House, hosts numerous Schmeller temporary House. exhibits. Other art-related museums of note in Dusseldorf include the Julia Stoschek Collection, a private collection of contemporary art, and the Ernst Schneider Collection. A variety of reputable dining options are available at the museum's various locations. All right, make the next one not a museum. Even though the art is beautiful, it's amazing. You just need something else. Is that the Windows logo? Windows 97. At six, see the views from the Rhine Tower, Rheinturm. Another landmark you'll want wow. to include on your list of sightseeing opportunities in Dusseldorf is the Rheinturm or Rhine Tower. Set in the midst of the city's harbour area, this 240 metre tall telecommunications tower was constructed in 1981 and features wow. an observation deck that offers superb views of the city. For a special treat, visit late for excellent night vistas over the city far below. There's a hotel in Las Vegas that I've been in that's like this. Also of interest here is the Lich Zeitbegel, cool. Lighttime Level, a fascinating sculpture that also just so happens to be the world's largest digital timepiece. A restaurant is also located atop the tower. And at five, Dusseldorf Hafen. What crazy architecture. And it looks like a cartoon. I've actually seen, you know, in your like um, playgrounds and stuff, there was a playground I, I reacted to that had architecture kind of like this, but like in a playground. This is really weird seeing it at full scale. Zolhof. When Dusseldorf decided to reclaim the wasteland of its former river port area, instead of raising the derelict warehouses and freight yards, the city rehabilitated the most historic... Look at all the open windows. That is just kind of funny to see as an American. <laughs> you never see a building with just all the windows open. Of them. I mean, you, you barely even see one window open. And replaced others with some of Europe's most daring modern architecture. Wow. The best of the massive Dusseldorf Hafen redevelopment. I want to, like, try to climb it, you know? And with all the windows open, you could you could use those as, like, a ladder. <laughs> is in Neue Zollhof. Probably a bad idea. A stunning section highlighted by the Frank O'Gary designed office buildings of Meidenhafen. What the hell, dude? It's like the Cybertruck. Media Harbour, three quite distinct structures completed in 1998 that seem to defy gravity as they lean and curve like jelly frozen in mid-wobble. In contrast <laughs> they do look like a jelly. to these modern structures, the former commercial harbour with what is it... What is it called? Like a fruit cake? They look like fruit cakes. 
protect walls, iron bollards and railings. Okay, I I don't know why I thought that. That looks nothing like a fruitcake, so... Onward. Cranes and rail tracks remain as historical monuments. Topping the area off is Rhine Turm, a 240 meter tall telecommunications tower. Didn't you already tell us about that? If you can, be sure to extend your visit to this interesting area with a meal at one of the many good harbourside restaurants. Next up at four, explore Old Town Dusseldorf. Dusseldorf's Old Town, the Altstadt, remains remarkably well preserved and should be included on your list of must-see attractions. The focal point of the Old Town is the Marktplatz, where you'll find the imposing Town Hall, Rathaus, and a large equestrian statue of Elector John William II, Damn. erected in 1711. Is he chubby? The statues are just awesome in Germany. Another highlight is the Castle Tower. The people just look strange, you know, they're, they're like, they're, they look different. It's not like, um, I don't know, like Greek statues where they're all just chiseled and perfect. In Bergplatz, on the banks of the Rhine, the only surviving section of the old castle that once dominated the city, the tower is home to the Schiffharts Museum, one of Germany's best and oldest marine museums with fascinating exhibits on the history of shipbuilding and trade. Oh my God, look at the amount of exhibits. They can barely fit them all. Another attraction to visit is the Hedgens Museum, dedicated to more than so 800 years of ceramics, porcelain and earthenware. St. Lambertus Church is also worth a look and is well known for its unusual twisted spire. Okay. And now at three, drive to Schloss Benrath. An easy 10 kilometer journey from the city center by public transit or car, Schloss Benrath, Benrath Palace, is a splendid Baroque mansion constructed between 1756 and 17... What a strange color. 1773. Is that like pink? Highlights include the palace's sumptuous interior, as well as a stroll around its huge park and gardens. I've noticed that a lot about a lot of buildings, really in Europe compared to America, the, the color schemes are just very different. Originally built for Elector Karl Theodor, the palace is home to three excellent museums focusing on various aspects of life in the 18th century. In the main palace building is Museum Corp de Logis, showcasing the history of Benrath and its architecture. Also so located within the former place are the equally interesting wow. Museum for European Garden Art and the Museum of Natural History are situated in other park buildings. English language guided tours are available for all museums here. The pleasant gardens laid out in Baroque style are also worth a visit. And now the whole GDP of this of Dusseldorf is supported by uh, museums. At two, enjoy a riverside stroll on the Rhine Embankment Promenade. Dusseldorf's Rhine Embankment Promenade offers one of the best ways of enjoying the city's wonderful riverside. Opened in 1997 as a means of hiding one of the city's busiest roads, it's buried beneath the promenade. This long pedestrian route gives the city a distinct Mediterranean flavor, lined as it is by cafes, restaurants, galleries, and shops on one side, Random cannon. and the mighty Rhine on the other. Running all the way from the Oberkassel Bridge and connecting the Old Town to the state's parliament buildings, the one and a half kilometer tree-lined promenade encompasses pedestrian and bike paths and offers countless opportunities for sights, Damn, they're flying. seeing and people watching. You'll find a genial mix of tourists and locals enjoying it all year long. Taking a stroll along this delightful pedestrian route remains one of the top things to do in Dusseldorf at night. Wow. All the gardening and landscaping is very stunning for like a public area, you know, very at impressive. night. And finally, at one, walk along Konigsallee, Germany's most elegant avenue. Dusseldorf's most elegant street, Konigsallee, literally translated into English as King's Avenue, is affectionately known to locals as the Co, and is said to be Germany's ritziest shopping district. Mm -hmm. Comparable to the chic Avenue Montaigne in Paris, this long stretch of high-end real estate was laid out in 1802 and continues to draw the crowds with its eclectic mix of exclusive boutique shops. Oh my God, so I could go, I just can't afford to buy anything. Designer clothing stores and luxury shopping arcades. There's also no shortage of art galleries or restaurants and cafes. 
a number this does feel very upper class a fine luxury i've never been somewhere this fancy in my life hotels line the street too some of them boasting excellent rooftop patios with views over this bustling street and the city Extending along both sides of the Old Town Moat, a 31-metre-wide, tree-lined stretch of water that, that adds to the street's sense of spaciousness. Konigsallee stretches a distance of one kilometre all the way from Graf Adolf Platz in the south to the Hofgarten in the north. Whoa. It ends what at the spectacular trite. Oh my god, that's so sick. On Fountain. Its entire length is a delight to explore on foot and is a must-add to your Dusseldorf travel itinerary. A lot of nice cars too. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Dusseldorf. Did you like what you saw? Yes, I did. Quite fancy. Quite fancy. I'd have to buy some new clothes to even think about going there. I feel like. <laughs> what a beautiful city. Um, thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. There's a wasp outside my window. See, that's why you can't open the windows here in America. Too many wasps. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.